Are you trying to screencast your Mac's screen but want to include the audio that comes from your Mac into the recording? In this video we'll go through a very simple way of setting this up so that you can get a more full screen recording experience. What you want to do then is go to existential.audio slash black hole and uh, there you need to enter your email address, your first name and last name and click to uh, download it for Mac. You then need to get over to your email and confirm the email address so that uh, they see that you've entered the correct details. Then you can uh, download the Black Hole 2 channel or the Black Hole 16 channel. If you are unsure of which one to use, you should pretty much always pick the 2 channel version. Downloading that package, you are then ready to install Black Hole Virtual Audio Driver. Just click your way through the installer and then you can move the installer to the bin after you're done. After you have done this, if you go over to the sound settings, you will find the black hole 2 channel right there. To be able to make this work, I had to do a few extra steps and not only switching over to output here and then using the input in the screencaster. So first of all you need to go to audio MIDI setup. So you just type audio MIDI or MIDI and then you click into there. When you get here you want to click on the plus sign and there you want to first create an aggregate device. In the aggregate device you want to select black hole 2 channel. Then you also want to click the plus and you want to create a multi output device. When you get here you want to select both the MacBook Pro speakers in my case and the Black Hole 2 channel. When you have done this you can also rename these guys. So we can rename this for example to Black Hole In. And then we can rename this to for example Black Hole Out. When we have uh, organized this a little bit, we can then right click it or option click it and then we use the black hole in for sound input. And we can then right click this and make it sound output. But right now since I'm actually screencasting, I can't select this option. And if you can't do it there, you can just flip over to the sound settings and there you can select the output as black hole out. And you can select the input as black hole in. Then when you want to do a screen recording you want to find the options and in the options you want to make sure you select the black hole in. The next time you hit record and listen back Something to some like audio here makes for a much cleaner look on your you will hear the it through the speakers. This, this is the way the clip that I recorded will sound. Something that I think makes for a much cleaner look on your desktop. The resolution of this monitor really makes it quite an enjoyable process to work with office tasks. I usually have no problem at all to run two or sometimes even three windows at the same time on my main monitor. And then also running one in the laptop screen like this gives a very good screen real estate to be able to work with multiple applications. That was it for this explanation and if you want more content like this it would be super awesome if you want to subscribe to my channel. That gives me a ton of inspiration to keep on creating content for you. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day, bye bye.